welcome to the Seaward, the Conservatives podcast. Today we're talking about us. I'm Jenna Mathiason, an objects conservative based in Kebbaltonshire. And I'm Chloe Rumsey, an objects conservative based in Manchester. <laughs> right, welcome guys. This is welcome a to the show. Special bonus episode. Yes. Um, you might be confused because surely you were expecting season 14 at this point. But uh we do do the occasional bonus episode and, and here's one for example yeah. um, and actually it's sort of an announcement episode it's sort of exciting isn't it it is an announcement episode yeah have we ever done an announcement episode before oh I don't think we I have I feel like we haven't no no, no I feel like we've done like emergency ones <laughs> Or, or, or like once a special event, you know, yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Like yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be a catastrophe. No. <laughs> it, it's not all pandemic stuff. No. We've done emergency ones, but this is this is a good one. So to start with, we are um, putting a pause on yeah. season 14 production yeah, yeah. in order to take the winter months, the autumn and winter months, yes. which seems depressing as we sit here with the sun streaming through the window in August. Yes, that's true. We're focusing... The next few months on what I'm going to call a special project because it's the biggest change that's happened to a big, the biggest potential change, hopeful change that's happened to the podcast since we started. Insert drum roll. <laughs> we have been a core team of two mm-hmm. since. Um, oh, so. So Christina stepped down after 40, 40 or 41 episodes. Yes. Something like that. Um, so it's it's been a team of two since then. And that's a long time because we've a done time. 110 episodes before this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's quite a while, it's guys. A long, it's a long time. And we would like to change that. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to expand the family. I would like to uh, ideally have two more people. Yeah come on board uh, as Team Seaward. That would be really good. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're recruiting. We are recruiting. That's the announcement. That's yes. the whole announcement. Uh, at least one of these roles is, is front-facing yeah. in that it will be another presenter, another host. And We want to go up to three. Yeah, yeah, again. exactly. We exactly. liked three. It was nice. We, we nice. like having our guest hosts. We think that's really lovely. Mm-hmm. But we've also really enjoyed having four people and three core co-hosts yeah so that's what we're aiming to do is is to expand uh the amount of hosts again uh, on a more permanent basis and uh what we're specifically looking for an emerging professional as a co-host because that would be really lovely uh we're we're getting old uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the time to try to expand uh, for so that we we keep in touch with you know like the the young ones uh, or like the people coming into the profession the emerging the emerging professionals the students we we want to keep that because that's been really really important to mm-hmm. us and it still is um, but we also recognise that you know our experiences from ten plus years ago <laughs> oh, Jesus. aren't necessarily as relevant as no, we think they are no. um, and it, it would be arrogant of us to think that it is so. That's why we want to expand the team. Um, and another thing is that we want some more uh, help behind the scenes as well in terms of you know, writing all these polite emails to people uh, <laughs> and and a few other things as well. Uh, so we would love some like um, sort of, it's sort of admin support, I guess, but more glamorous than that because it's like a glamorous coordinator role that we're looking for. And, and this doesn't have to be someone who speaks on the show it can be if that is something that you would like or you're comfortable with but it doesn't have to be yeah we wanted to give an option because lots of people in the past six to seven years have expressed real genuine interest in what we do and real genuine interest in taking part and communicating conservation and talking about different topics and then when it comes to the subject of whether they would talk it's like oh no I couldn't do that and that's and fine and that's totally fine <laughs> yeah. as well so um, instead of fighting against that <laughs> we've decided that it would be really nice to uh, offer an option for someone who really wants to take part but is absolutely not up for or not interested in actually being recorded and that is that would be really nice as well yeah we think that's absolutely totally reasonable <laughs> yeah it is it's definitely reasonable um yeah so you know we're hoping for um 
to hear from loads of you, hopefully. Um, and there'll be adverts out soon. Yeah. But keep an eye on our social media and our website because there'll be something out soon. Um, and, and yeah, so don't worry. Season 14 is still happening, but we're taking the autumn to ourselves to do some recruitment, um, to sort of regain a little bit of strength get to know our new team members as well this isn't necessarily something that we want to like just force people into like immediately you know like you don't have to we don't want to throw people into the deep end too much so we want it to be like a a, as gentle a process as it can be to sort of get to know what we do and what goes on behind the scenes and yeah i'm really hoping that i'm really excited yeah i'm really hoping that we'll get to know some great new people yeah and there'll be new voices on the show so the thing about recruiting that Mm. i think you and i have both thought about is that while it's really exciting and while we are really keen to get to know new people and have you know fresh nitrile on the team yeah (laughs) um (laughs) we're really aware that we do this for free we've chosen to do this for free yeah. We started it and we're still doing it for free. And we also spend quite a lot of our time telling people not to work for free or at least to charge charge appropriately. Yeah. Like we, we're obviously, <laughs> obviously, we're really big fans of fair pay and good work mm. practices. And yeah, so yeah, that bit is challenging. So the roles are voluntary at this stage, mm. but that does mean that one of the first big things that we want to do as a team Mm -hmm. is to start working on some proper sustainable funding to put into the show to pay us for our time and by us I mean all of the team members Mm -hmm. that are on board and obviously if you know of anything you know always get in touch because you know you might know of funding pots that we don't you know that'd so, be great you know, yeah get in touch if you know of anything as well but that'll be one of the first things that we do as a team right is that we're sort of looking at those sorts of big questions about how can we make that happen as well yeah exactly it's exciting yeah because we also want to be able to pay for our contributors time as well oh, that, will, that um, would be a dream yeah. wouldn't it that would be amazing exactly. if we could but you know look into the future looking hopeful and yeah let's see what it brings but anyway keep an eye on our socials uh there will be announcements soon if not already um and yeah thanks for supporting us guys and for listening (laughs) chloe you're looking at me do you want to add another exciting announcement (laughs) yeah after starting saying we have one singular exciting announcement (laughs) there's actually two but that's true we have heard some really exciting news um that we've both been really emotional about and we've both felt really sort of like bashful about yeah which is why we're doing that terribly british thing of sort of going hum 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 what are we doing we did a thing <laughs> but uh yeah we've been nominated for an award and won it which is lovely yeah yeah it's really lovely the innovators award yeah yeah uh, so it's part of cardiff university alumni awards uh for the 30-ish awards. And we are very 30-ish, aren't we? Are we are ish. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who nominated us because it was uh, a team effort, as I understand it, from the emails I've received. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so, th- yeah, we'll be going to a swanky award ceremony at some we point. Oh yeah. And, and of receiving October. an award. That is, that is a first for us. Thank you so it much, is. guys. It's very exciting. It what is exciting. Uh, well, it better be something purple, right? Oh, yeah. Is yeah. your hair going purple? Um, maybe. It's very pink at the moment. It so is. maybe I'll have to go more purple for that. But it is mm. It is still uh, some time away. So this is probably washed out by then. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <but> yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Very exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, We're very proud for of For everyone who supports I'm us. very grateful. You are adorable. Uh, and we adore you. Thank you, guys. Um, yes. Surely now there are no more announcements in the bag. Shake the bag. Make sure it's... Shake the bag. I did. It yeah, seems cool. fine. Okay, cool. Uh, we, we might be out of announcements now, people. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Hello. We have turned up with our two special guests. Yes. Bill has his head in his hands already. <laughs> we are joined by the very glamorous Jane Henderson and the even Yay! more glamorous Phil Parks. Woo! Um, Chloe is of course wearing sequins They are purple Yeah I'm in a purple Fully sequined purple mini dress And Jenny naturally Is in a a full purple suit Yeah And it looks fantastic I'm living my best life Yeah exactly With purple hair naturally And purple lipstick on me Um, So this is what we've gone for We are at the 30-ish 
Cardiff yeah. Alumni Awards. Uh, we have name badges, and there's going to be drinks and canapes. Oh, and Jane's pointing, are the canapes already on board? They are. Let's go, let's go. So we've found our board. Uh, are there 30 winners? That makes, that feels like that would be, make sense, yeah. So there are 30 winners of different categories and uh, 30 boards with their little blurb in English and Welsh. Um, and we obviously had to go and find our board. Um, we were specifically instructed to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to read it out. This was written um, by Jane, Phil and a couple of other wonderful people um, who seem to entirely just aim to make us cry. So I'm going to read it. <clears throat> The C Word, the Conservatives podcast, is the world's biggest, brightest and most informative podcast for heritage conservation. Jenny and Chloe are innovators who started the podcast in 2017 and together they've produced 13 series and 110 episodes. Early adopters of the podcast format, they're not afraid to challenge the profession and examine issues such as disability, maternity and equality as well as discussing things important to conservatives such as bats and belfries, ethics and repatriation, children in exhibitions and computers in heritage. Their voices are recognised and loved by conservatives worldwide, which explains why from a tiny profession they've achieved over 200,000 downloads, several thousands of listens per episode and audiences in 120 countries. I didn't know that bit. The C word links and inspires conservatives from Argentina to Singapore, encourages personal development and ensures accessibility through transcription, show notes and multiple channels. They also provided vital support and connection to the conservation community through the pandemic. (laughs) And I'm crying a little bit, but that's okay. Thank you, Jane. Thank Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, and everyone. And everyone. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so we've um, we haven't had much time for canapes, have we? I'm still eating one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but we've been filtered into a sort of uh, a space for well, the seats. It's like a it's like a uh, it feels like talk we, space. Yeah, it feels like we've been given a lecture. Yeah, um, and I believe awards are all beautifully arranged on a table uh, people have put drinks down on the table which I love so much for museum soiree reasons yes. uh, <laughs> um, we appreciate the little things <laughs> we appreciate the little things <laughs> um, Jane has handed us very full glasses of Prosecco yes because um, apparently we weren't allowed to have a seat without them yes no we weren't which is fair um, we're not the brightest coloured people in no, the room there's a bright we're... pink yes and there's a, a very pink. snazzy shirt um, and great oranges. Yeah, what I'm finding is that there's some very, very impressive people in the room. I know. Really impressive people. Mm. Like, like, you know. Like truly world changing people. Yeah. yeah. Um, what a lovely. Evening. We do a little podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm choosing not to think about that. is fantastic everyone here is fantastic it's really nice actually really cool and everyone's very excited to meet each other as well yeah, it's really cute it's like really it. cute it's really cute so we just we lined it, up it for a big me, photo uh, it gives me like yeah, conservator um conference vibes in that everyone's just yes. excited to talk to another person who understands <laughs> it's yes. just really sweet <laughs> i like it yeah exactly well, there's some bustling people have bought their canapes in which we were told not to do and i am jealous now of the canapes um, well, if anyone's interested, there were there were um, uh, little potato cakes with vegan chicken stuff on them. Yes, there were halloumi skewers. Yes, and with there mango w- sauce. Oh, was it mango sauce? Yeah, it's very nice. oh. uh, my favourite so far has been, unsurprisingly, the mac and cheese uh, breaded bites. Oh yes, because you can't beat double. Oh shit! I mean, here we go. Go. Next award. The award celebrates innovation, of course. Uh, how powerful creating and introducing new ideas within your industry can be. Jenny Mathewson and Chloe Rumsey are the voices behind the Sea World, the world's biggest, brightest, and most informative podcast for heritage conservation. Early adopters of this format, they produce 13 series and 110 episodes with more than 200,000 downloads and audiences in 120 countries. Totally the wrong clothes on for stealing wine. (laughs) 
So we're all elegantly dressed. I don't know. Bill has well, a kangaroo I, pouch I, in I his do. hoodie. I do. <laughs> Bill can steal wine. There's a lot of spare wine. <laughs> Episode, guys. <laughs> um, it was wasn't it nice? We got an award each, and yay! And everyone's so really nice and super sick. We don't have to share and it. You've got your um, names on them. We've got yes. our names on them. I've got the little diuresis on my E, which is really nice, which I keep out out of laziness normally. Yes, um, I didn't put it in. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's because I I don't know how to do it in emails. I only oh someone's got their board. Oh no, that's Barry with the board. Okay. <laughs> Take I think we're going to. Yeah. I think we're going to. Thank There's you. Only one. We'll be all right. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. be all right. We'll timeshare. This is Barry. He's in charge. This is the, the lovely charge. person who's been looking after us you this can whole edit time. This out, right? Yeah, it's okay. fine. I'd like to have a big shout out to the 32 people who nominated the SeaWorld Pro. Yay! Thank it was incredible. You. It was in, a, an incredibly high number. I was like, Aww. where are all these? Who's the Sea? Oh my goodness. We, <laughs> Amazing fan base you've oh, got there. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, really thank good you, reach. everyone. <laughs> yes. Thank you thank so much. That was really nice. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Oh, that was really nice. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh, great timing. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to take our board home because they made they printed us a nice board with our mm. photos and with yep. our statement in two yep. languages. Yeah. And because we are conservatives, we can possibly keep things. So obviously, yep. we're going to take it home. I have the faraway look of someone who's going to be on a train and don't want to damage it. But you know what? I'm going to worry about to take tomorrow. It? I'm going to worry about it tomorrow. How about we'll I worry, worry about it in yeah, the morning? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll worry about that in the morning. I'm going to yeah. worry about it in the morning. Um, and, and drink I'll, wine I'll now. I'll pack it properly for you. <laughs> See? Conservatives stick together. Yeah. <laughs> But not with tape. But not with tape. So we've uh, we've had an our award. Obviously, we've talked to some really uh, like fancy people. Very important. Um, people. We've eaten some canapes. We've smiled politely at other winners. Um, and I just witnessed um, Phil earnestly trying to talk Jane out of stealing a bottle of wine because there is lots of spare wine, and you didn't, you wouldn't want to let it go to waste. Mm. But we're not wearing enough clothes to conceal a bottle of wine. Well, they're not, not bulky enough. They're not yes. bulky enough. We've got a little, like also, a little party people, bag. More people are taking their boards. They I'm are. So pleased. We won't that's, be the yeah, weirdos. Yeah. No, that's ones. true. Yeah, I'm yeah. So yeah. And then we're going to Phil's stage dry this entire evening. So he's going to drive us home. Um, and thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> elderflower, elderflower cordial, was it? Yep. And rose lemonade. And rose lemonade. Very nice. We've been on Prosecco the whole time. Yeah, we have. Um, so we, I think Jane's of the Hearth has made us bolognese and pasta. Yes, I think so. So we're going to do that, and it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really nice. Dear Jane, do you have any tips for making a great cotton swab every time? Mine never quite has the right texture that I want, or they're too tight or too loose on the stick. Sounds really basic, I know, but maybe I'm missing something obvious. Love seeking swabs. So, for my SeaWorld friends, here is my How to Make Cotton Buds video. I apologize if this is very much teaching conservators how to suck eggs or make cotton buds. The way I think of Right, if you want the full glory of Jane's answer, you're going to have to check out the video link in our show notes or head over to our YouTube channel because this is a visual answer. It's a great little video, do check it out and I really hope it helps. We keep telling you that we don't get paid for this and it's true. We've got running costs just like any other passion project does. And to help us meet those costs, we accept PayPal donations and support via Patreon, where you can subscribe to one of our regular patrons. That helps us so, so much, and it really helps us keep our vast archive of episodes online between seasons. So we really appreciate everyone who gives us a little bit every month. This summer, we've had four new people join our merry band of acid-free supporters. So I'd like to wish a warm and slightly belated welcome to Lawrence, Tiago, Alec and Brigham. You're absolute legends. Thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like to support our work, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash the C word. Thanks for listening. And yes, it took us almost three months to release this. You can tell that we need more people, right? You've been listening to Clara Romsey and me, Jim Mathiasen. 
Join us next season for more conservation related content, hopefully with some new voices. In the meantime, you can check out our website at theseawood.show, tweet us at the Seawood Podcast, find us on the Fediverse at the Seawood Podcast at Glamorous, or simply email us on the Seawood Podcast at gmail.com. The intro and outro music is Spring by Didi Mystic, used under a Creative Commons Attribution License. And as always, this has been a Wooden Dice production. Our sound engineer seems to have collapsed. I'm down. He's down. Is he okay? Was it the knees that went? I had to hold my whole weight sort of with just those. Oh, is that what that cracking is about? Whoa!